I gotta do my research. I'm a scientist. I gotta do my research. I'm a scientist. By nature, I'm curious. Science is serious. I wanna learn and study. Cause life is too mysterious. First step, state of the art. Reading, searching, summarizing strictness. Rigor and precision. I can afford to make a mistake. I develop a strong methodology. and I'm the Fab Lab Manager out here in Fab Lab Bhutan. During the past two weeks we've had several visitors at the lab. First to arrive was to Swing, the lab leader. Swing originates from Bhutan but has lived in Denmark for the past few years, which is where we met. Also from Denmark, Professor Henrik of Veer University College, a water specialist who works at the Danish water company Grunfors. We were also joined by Amit and Samil from India. Amit is an electromechanical engineer who will be joining at the lab for the next year. Samil is a documentarian who came over to discover more about the lab. experiencing water shortages to do research so that we can offer potential solutions. Two cars left the lab, one led by Rapton and one by Tsuang. Nanda, Kazang and Tashi also joined us. we stopped at was Bundy, three hours east of Timfu, whose water shortages have left them unable to grow crops for the past decade. We met with the locals to find out more about the situation. Whilst in Wandi, we stayed at Tashi's wife's house with her parents, who greeted us with the warmest reception. The next day, we trekked to the closest mountain to examine a potential water source. After we had collected enough information, we returned to Timfu for one night before setting off to the next village. Before setting off, we met with the head of a local primary school who has offered us some land to build a new fab lab in the coming months so that digital fabrication can be taught as part of the curriculum from a younger age.
The second village we visited was called Bongo, six hours south of Timfu. village had a festival to celebrate the new year. Before beginning research we took a day to join the celebration. Discovering more about village life from a design perspective is important. Designers, when designing for a country or culture that they are not native to, have been criticised for not fully understanding the context and hence producing ineffective solutions. Therefore I took this opportunity to discover more about the traditional Bhutanese culture. The next day, the team set off to inspect the existing water infrastructure in Bongo. Again, we were staying in the homes of one of the locals who was equally sad when it was time for us to say goodbye. Last week has been a refreshing break from the city and has shown me sights rarely seen by outsiders. The experience has left me full of energy and ready to tackle my next big projects.